All right, uh, welcome back. We've uh, jumped a little bit into the future here, but I just basically want to show you what happens to the seed, and what I do to the seed after it's germinated. But always give my cans a quick spray with uh, methylated spirits or some sort of alcohol just to sterilize the gloves. All right, so what we've got here is the seed. Um, maybe a little bit hard to see. You know, we only just started to germinate in there, but there's a few little shoots growing. So normally at this stage, I leave them until they get a little bit bigger. Um, as we can see over here, this is some seed I had growing earlier. Probably got a fairly good strike rate there. Um, and I would normally remove them from this uh, media a little bit earlier than this, but um, at the moment, I'm just gonna let them grow a little bit more, I've run out of sort of space to put things, so um, at this stage basically all I do is remove them from this and place them into a larger container, give them a little bit more space to grow as you can see what I've done here. So basically the seeds have grown to about this size, whacked them into some more plain medium, it's all plain media um, up until this stage, um, and let them grow out. Um, you could even some of these bigger plants if you wanted to, just whip them out and harden them off and grow them out but today I'm just going to select one of these smaller plants and show you what I do with that. I'm just unwrap this container. This, this ceiling film can be a bit hard to get off at times. Uh, we've got rid of the ceiling film off the top. Um, just basically pulled it down at the moment. Um, normally give away a good spray as I'm going. It doesn't hurt. But you can't be too careful when it comes to sterilizing equipment. All right. So what we're going to do is remove one of the small plantlets from in here and put them into some other medium. Now this medium, as you can see, is coloured yellow. That's just a food dye. Um, have some TDZ Z, sorry, in there. Um, basically, that will pr pr um, promote callus growth. So that's what I want to happen. Take one plant out of here, put it in there, and turn it into a callus base, basically. So we'll go ahead and do that. So the easiest way. Just loosen off the lids until we're happy. These contain little tubes that are awesome for this sort of thing. So basically just hold it upside down so we don't get any contamination in there. And just, uh, what we'll do is have a quick look in there if you see the plants. Good. So I'll just grab one out. Excuse me for a second until I find one. Let's go. And of course, we'll let it triple. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So all we do is grab one little plant and carefully poke him down in here. Make sure he's secure in there. And pretty much done. Right. Now we'll put him back out to grow out for a little while and hopefully he grows and forms a callus for us. And I'll show you what we do from there in the next video.